That's it. That's it. Oof. You're probably wondering how I got here. Blame multi-platinum Grammy award-winning producer and vegan Jermaine Dupri. As food, you know, every piece of food I wanted cheese on, eggs, grits, everything had to have cheese. And it's like, after a while, you really, you know, you, you look at that process and you gotta, you gotta delete some of that. And that's basically what I was doing. Jermaine Dupri is daring you to try the plant-based for a day challenge to kick off November, which is also World Vegan Month. Vegans eat plant-based foods only. No meat, no fish, nor animal products like eggs, milk, or honey. What do you hope to achieve with this challenge? Just the education. I feel like if one person changes their life from this challenge, then, you know, that's a start. What people may not know is that the legendary artist has been vegan for 15 years. Do you cook? No. I, can't, I really can't imagine Jermaine Dupri won everything, doing everything and standing at the stove, right? Behind you, is it? I, I, I want to eat too, I want to eat too bad to be cooking. It takes too long. I don't like to watch and smell it. I want to eat it. <laughs> the way I became a vegan was I did a 25 day fast where I did the master cleanse for 25 days. Once I got through my fast, before I even started eating vegan food, my body felt so good and so different that I didn't, I was scared to eat regular food. That's, that's one of the biggest jokes going is that I'm from the South and I'm vegan and people always are like laughing and trying to figure out how is that possible. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Um, I, I, I feel like that's a, um, I hope people don't take it the wrong way, but it's, it's almost a, a idiotic mindset because it's almost like if you're from the South, you shouldn't be healthy. You shouldn't be conscious of how you eat. You guys are supposed to just be eat all of that heart clattering food. And you know, that's what you guys are known for eating. And that is, that is our, what we're known for eating, but as, 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 as we should be taking this health as serious as possible, that's not the, that's not the mindset that we should be in. Right. Um, and I like that you mentioned that because when you change, it's a behavioral change. So you have to change your mindset first and then everything else will follow. You know, you can do all the fads that you want to, but if your mind is not in it, you're not going to stick to it. Just everyone try this one day vegan situation. Let's, let's see. Let's, I challenge you all. Let's see. For 24 hours, I took the plant based for a day challenge. What I already have is not that bad. I've just, like I said, I went to the market yesterday. That's chicken, that's salmon. Obviously can't have that. I've got some mushrooms here. Yeah, can't have that, that's cheese. That's oat milk. That, that's, I think that's allowable, right? Uh, let's get that some eggs. Um, yeah, I might have to go to the store. So the time has come. It's time for my first vegan feeding which is not really that much of a departure from what I would eat anyway, but it's snack time. And I happen to have, you hear the water running because I'm rinsing off some berries. Yummy little blackberries. So, but I'm actually like hungry, hungry. What I was going to do, I was gonna make a salad, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. But what I will say is that I'm hungrier than what the berries Oh, really good. Sweet. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Usually they're a little more bitter. I feel like I'm still gonna be hungry after I eat this. Figure it out though. But I'm locked in, I'm committed to doing this. Is popcorn, Jesus, Google results, vegan. This is the kind of popcorn I have. I don't care what you have to say about it. I actually very much like it, but it's not vegan. See, that ain't vegan. This is vegan. <sighs> okay, I can do this, I swear. So I'm totally lost, obviously, and I'm in the Beyond Meat section. This lovely lady, what's your name? Hi, Julia. Thank you for helping me decide what to have for dinner because I like could eat this entire, like whatever the fridge is made of, I could eat that. Like, now. <laughs> so what do you suggest in this section? Yeah, so I like using the crumbles to make like tacos or chili, mm -hmm. um, basically just how they're branded to these. And then I like to use the 
the chicken over here, they do like chicken strips and I like to cut that up and I'll put it into like a stir fry or even just like with pasta. Nice, thank you so much. <laughs> all right, so what I will say is this. All these meats are behind me. I have had the Impossible Burger, which I really do like. I just, I'm so hungry right now. I don't feel like being experimental. Well, that experimental, this whole thing is an experiment. But, um, ooh, smart sausage, gosh. I just don't know what to do. I wound up with some breakfast sausage. I've never had this before. Some purple potatoes. I've got to make dinner right now. I am starvational. I haven't had anything since the berries. This whole rye bread, which may or may not be vegan, I couldn't look it up, but I think so. It doesn't contain egg or milk. Got some red kidney beans. And I've got some oddy rice. I don't typically like rice, but this is the only rice I will eat. Talk it up to me, bean. This is something that I hear many vegans talking about. I use the Bragg's apple cider vinegar, but again, Got that, I'll try that out from a suggestion from my, one of my fantastic colleagues, Victoria. And so I'm gonna try that. I'm looking forward to trying this the most. This bacon burger, which I just, I'm gonna eat the package at this point. And uh, this plant-based ground beef, which is diverse. You know, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. Dinner was a Beyond Bacon Burger. I am mad at it, pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> Okay, it's vegan ice cream. It's ice cream that does not have dairy, so there's no milk in it, but it's still ice cream. Let me try it. Oh, is it, oh does it taste? I don't know. I've never had it either. This is made with oat milk. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. It's, 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 it's all right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Since my very Jamaican dad says so, it must be true. The vegan ice cream was good, and the first bit of the challenge was in the books. De okay, hello. I'm still vegan, still doing this plant-based challenge. It's breakfast time and I have some Beyond Sausage that I'm gonna try. I've never had it before. I very much liked the burger last night. It was so good and I made it just like a burger. I put the onion and the tomato and the lettuce. It's delicious, so I have faith in this. Let's see. I also just took this out. I thought it was slices, but it's like, nah, it's a whole thing. I've never had this either, but um, again, we're giving it a go because we are open-minded and committed to this challenge. Okay, more when I actually cook this thing. Well, breakfast, not just a piece of bread. All right, now I'm trying um, one of the avocado toasts. This one, I made them two ways. One, I cooked this one, who, this is kind of falling apart. I cooked it in the, um, sausage oil because the sausage did produce an oil just like a regular sausage but it's beyond sausage so here we go the bread is an interesting bread hmm might be a little too nutty for me even though there's not like nuts in it I don't know I don't dislike it, but I don't actively like it. This is supposed to be rye bread, and I love rye bread. But this is, I don't know if this is gonna work for me. Hmm. So hungry. And now I am trying, I just tried the sausage. This is really good. It tastes and it smells like sausage, like the way it cooks up, like any sausage patty. Very good. I also have some purple potato and I made some avocado toast a few inches later okay a few more bites I, I don't like it mm -mm. I don't like this bread so <laughs> I've scraped the avocado off and I'm just gonna eat it like that that's fine so this kind of means like 90% of what I prepared so far and what I've bought in terms of this vegan meal I like but that bread not really gonna work for me. Good news is, for the most part, the vegan meals were good. Well, did it. 
down to the last vegan meal of the 24 hours, dinner and dessert. And for that, I am going to make some chili. Ordinarily, I make turkey chili. It's not gonna work out. So I've got the Beyond Beef. I'm looking at the ingredients. And here we have it. This is the finished result of the vegan chili. Of course, I know I got this bay leaf right here, but this is basmati rice. Not a big rice person, but I do love my basmati. Pretty much the deal with this is it, it wasn't bad. It's something that I can maintain, absolutely. 100%, I think I could do it. Minus that bread. <laughs> the challenge has definitely made me more mindful of what I eat, though I can't say I'd completely commit to veganism for now. It's doable, and not nearly as difficult as I thought. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.